Ahoy mateys and welcome back to another video. So there's a lot of pirate games on Roblox. A lot of pirate games. You know, you got you know all sorts of things. Uh simulators and stuff like that. Whatever this thing is. Um and uh, One Piece A Piece uh tycoons, you know. One Piece. Yeah. There's a lot of One Piece. Um, but today we are looking at Winds of Fortune, which is potentially one of the best that I have found so far. Like one of the absolute best pirate games. It's not even finished yet, but it's a lot of fun. It looks very beautiful. It is definitely worth playing. So, you know, I'll just show you guys what it's all about. So, Let's get into this. So here we are inside the game at Castaway Retreat. And yeah, this game is basically like the Roblox version of Sea of Thieves. From what I hear, I've never played Sea of Thieves. Um, but I mean, if it's like this, then yeah, I might look into getting that game. So yeah, basically you do quests to, um, Raise your level to get and get more gold to buy better ships, and yeah, just basically you know level yourself up and then just you know rule the seas that way. You know, that's basically the point of this game. So yeah, as you can see, this doesn't look like a Roblox character. All right, this definitely looks more well, looks sort of like the more recent Roblox characters. But yeah, this looks very. Very impressive for a Roblox game, alright? Okay, and of course it's not just the avatars, alright? You also have the combat, the way combat looks. Look at the swinging animations, alright? This is just freaking, this is freaking awesome. Alright. And then, we're in spawn, so you know. Got the great sword, you know. and then you got the you know cutlass with its cutlass class with its. D okay, he's getting annoying. He better hope he doesn't come across me in the ocean. Freaking level eleven, I'll destroy him. But yeah, as you can see, this looks amazing. All right, all right. There's also you know guns and flintlocks and a crafting system although i wouldn't really recommend doing it at the moment because right now oh oh they must have fixed it okay never mind never mind um well, ugh, 110 metal. I don't know, it still looks a bit unbalanced. All right, I, it looks better than it did because, you know, before it was take, took a lot of resources, but it looks, it looks different. Things look a lot cheaper. I want to take a look at the ships. Did they change up the ships? Okay, ship prices are still outrageous. So, yeah. But yeah, speaking of the ships, you know, it's not just the animations the freaking ships look amazing so let's start with the basic ship all right sloop this is the first ship you get in the game and look at this all right you got cannons you know an anchor that will stop your ship okay Alright, you've got lanterns that you can toggle off and on. And the thing about sailing... Sailing is pretty cool, alright? So you can just basically set your course where you want to go, you can aim the ship where you want to go on the map, and then... You know, yeah, basically just hop off and the ship will sail there, because it's being propelled by the wind. And, as you can see... Uh, yeah, as you can see these by these lines, there's wind in this game. 
and you can rotate the mast to catch the wind. Now, at the moment, we're sailing against the wind, so, you know, you know let's just change that. Oh my gosh, these ships just look so amazing, alright? You can see they're very you know, decorative, alright? So, yeah, this looks about good. So, yeah, you can rotate the mast to catch the wind. Do it for all your sails, and that will give you a speed boost. Alright. And if you want to turn fast, I recommend, you know, really doing this while turning. I find that this is the fastest way to turn, you know, moving your sails up and down like that. And then, you know, yeah, that's... I find that that gives you a slightly faster turn speed, so, yeah. Could just be, uh... I don't know, an illusion or something, but I don't know. I'm just gonna do it anyway. It couldn't hurt. So yeah. So yeah, this is the sloop, the first ship in the game. There are uh, five ships, all right, obtain all ships, and you can see it goes up to five. So there's sloops, yachts, uh, brigs, galleons, and man of war. Oh, also, um, crashing your ship won't damage it, so don't worry about that. At least not at the moment. Now, I have four of the ships, alright? So, yeah. You got the yacht, which, uh... Yeah, and then you can just, you know, despawn your ship by, you know, doing the bottle again. You have the yacht, which is basically just a tiny... Basically a tiny fishing boat. You get it at a. You get the yacht at a. Now the yacht is like the second fastest ship in the game. You get it at Fisherman's Haven, and yeah, as you can see, it looks like a fishing boat. All right, you've got nets and ropes, and this looks like an open fishing crate, which is an item in the game that you can sell. Although there and there's no can, so yeah, this is the second fastest ship in the game. There is a brig, but brigs aren't that well detailed. Um, brigs are not very well detailed. Like, they they look really good. Like, um, as you can see, it looks really nice. The ship looks brand new. But, and it even has, you know, a cabin. But as you can see, the only decorative items on this ship are the barrels. Alright, there's nothing below deck, nothing here. You know. It's just, yeah, although you do have more guns, it's just not as very good looking from a decorative standpoint. However, brigs are the only one that are like that. Brig is, the brig is the only ship that isn't very well detailed. Galleons, I don't have a man of war, but that's much larger and much cooler looking. Oh, legendary chest key. Didn't even know I had that. But yeah, the, currently the agreed upon best ship in the game is the Galleon. Because it is the fastest ship in the game, has a decent amount of firepower and decent amount of health. And my gosh, lucky you got. You got far more decorative looking items, which as you can see, which you can see in here. Oh my gosh, the captain's cabin. This looks freaking amazing. And down in here, the cargo hold. I love this ship. Haven't even used it, just bought it yesterday. Yeah, I freaking love this ship. I totally want to get a crew and sail with this thing. Yeah. If some things look buggy, this game is very buggy. Alright, this is. This is a very. This, this game is a work in progress, okay? It's not complete yet in any respect. But they are working on it. In fact, just today there was a glitch where you couldn't get on because the cursor would not move when you logged on. But they just fixed it today, alright? That was a bug that they... From an update they added yesterday and they just fixed it today. So, yeah. 
Whenever they add something that creates a game-breaking bug that renders the game unplayable, they usually fix it within a day or two. So yeah, don't worry about that. But yeah, this is... the ships are absolutely freaking gorgeous. I love them. And, you know, you might think this looks a little plain. Well, fear not, my friends. There... Ish... Ship customization. And I think there will be more things added in the future, you know? You got things for the ship's hull. Alright. This is kind of weird. Sort of like a third person view. It's kind of weird, the controls, but it, it, once you get the hang of it, it works, alright? But yeah, you can pretty much customize all of these if you got the right items, alright? And you can buy these items from the Harbor Master, alright? You can buy ship decor. Personally, I'm going to go for the Helixo Gold and Bandit Cannons, you know, I'm going to, you know, once I get the money, I will really spruce my galleon up. She deserves a name, not sure what I'm going to name her, but, you know, hey, in the comment section, y'all can figure something out. Okay, there is a magic system, but magic is kind of difficult to get, and I'm just not bothering with it, so, yeah. There's ice magic, fire magic, and lightning magic. Fire magic is good for just playing around, and S and it's really good for PvP. Ice magic is just good in general, and you know, lightning magic is good against enemies like NPC enemies, but pretty bad for you know, player versus player. So yeah, so yeah, if you're gonna do quests. Don't bother with these missions, these uh, merchant missions, yep, these delivery missions. Don't bother with them. Hunter missions are decent, but the best ones are the treasure, because they give you about the same amount of gold, or ch yeah, they give you the same amount of treasure chests as you get from the hunter missions, but you get way more experience from the treasure hunts. So yeah, we're just gonna um, go do a quest, and I'll show you guys what it's all about. Someone needs to put on some clothes. So yeah, we're just gonna hop on over, hope the game doesn't crash. And of course, I'll be taking my galleon. It might, you know, be a several person ship, but you know what? That's fine, I, I got it. Oh, I got this. Who needs a crew when you got me, right? So yeah, we're just gonna set the course and... Boop, 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 boop. So yeah, I'll show you what PvP combat is like against enemies. Alright, so let's see. So yeah, you're going to want to angle it to the wind. Uh, and there's one. Oop. One more right. There. There we are. There we are. Oh, this looks freaking amazing. Four guns on the side. The Man of War, I think, looks cooler, and they should have named it a frigate, but, um, yeah, but I digress. Yeah, this thing looks freaking amazing. I cannot wait to get it some skins and stuff like that, because this is... Yeah, I'm just gonna chill in my captain's cabin. I do wish the chair actually worked, though. It doesn't work, so, you know, I'm just gonna... Eh, let's try and squeeze on into it. Uh, yeah. 
Like I said, work in progress game. Adventure. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, and we are stuck in the Winds of Fortune. Okay. Yeah, this Winds of Fortune here is a bit of a super highway, right? It's like a super current that will bring your ship. That will move your sh your ship will move pretty fast along that. So yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, we're almost there. Guess we can just cut to when we actually get there. To Fort Howler. Because there is another little tip I want to show you guys. Okay, so here you are. Now you're gonna want to be careful not to, um... Like, first off, when you get to an island, you're gonna want to, you know, s scope it out, see if there's any ships there. If there are, be careful. They can steal your treasure and stuff like that at most of the islands. So yeah, since there's no one here, we don't have to worry too much about that. Although, it is best to keep an eye out in case someone does come. Now, when docking, you're going to want to get close, but you don't want the ship to get stuck, which I think it already has. Uh, yep. But you know what? This is fine. And I forgot to raise the sails again. You know what? This is... Okay, now, actually, now we can get closer. I'm going to dock the ship. Editor, just cut to when I'm done making a fool of myself. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, you're going to want to get it close, but not so close that it gets stuck. It looks like it, we've got it stuck. But you know what? Because of the galleon being so low in the water, I don't. I think we can easily get it unstuck because it's so large. Stuff. So yeah, PvP combat is pretty interesting, all right. So the way treasure hunt missions work is enemies will spawn right by it, right? So yeah, the one you're gonna want to target first is the dudes with the guns, specifically the blunderbuss. Because they will attack you from range and they will deal a lot of damage. You can worry about the close range dudes later. But right now the blunderbuss will drain your health. It will basically melt your health bar, okay? So yeah. Ooh. Also, be sure to pick up these uh, driftwood. They sell for about 50 gold, which is a decent amount in early game. So yeah, once you do that, just start digging where the X is at the top. You know, that's pretty simple. So yeah, blunderbuss. So there's the blunderbuss guys, the musket guys, and the crossbow guys. Those are the three ranged dudes that you have to worry about. We can just go ahead and throw those in the cargo hold. Alright, but yeah. So target the blunderbuss dudes first, then go for the musket guys, then go for... Then go for the crossbow dudes. Alright, once there's no more ranged dudes, go for the, um... Then you deal with the melee guys. Go for the spearmen first, then whichever ones you want. Right? After the spearmen are dead, because you know they will basically just you know, bam, 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 bam. With just you know, they are annoying because they have a high attack rate. All right, we can grab that in a second, but first things first, Fort Howler. If you want a free gun, come to the top of Fort Howler right here on the map. All right, you'll get a free musket or flintlock. Or, not flintlock, you'll get a free musket or a free um, blunderbuss, which normally costs about a thousand. And yes, that Cyclops is there. We can ignore that for the moment. I'll 
get into him in a second. But yeah, the blunderbuss and musket, those cost a few thousand. So yeah, it would be better to get that for free, which I just showed you how to do. So I'm just gonna throw that right there. Since I have to manually sell those, there's no chests you can throw below deck because you can just immediately, you can just instantly sell all of them at once. All right. So yeah. Now the Cyclops dude. We can just completely ignore him. He has a lot of health. Not physically damage us at the moment. Now you can see right there that dude has a blunderbuss. It's got the flailed end on the on the gun. All right, so yeah, we can actually just ignore this dude. Although we could kill him. And he might drop his uh, club, which sells for a decent amount, and can be a really good weapon. So, you know, you can kill him if you want, it's just no big deal. And, oh, crossbow guy. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go, so, yeah, I'm not even gonna bother, because, I mean, not really gonna bother killing him, he's got a lot of health, and, yeah. I'm just gonna go for the chest, because that's the real money maker here. You, on the other hand, are just plain annoying, and you could die. Uh, no, you're dead. You are less annoying, but you're still dead. Blunderbuss dude looks to be gone, so... Yeah, and just pick up whatever they drop once they die. It could be either crafting materials or stuff you can sell, which, you know, gives you some good gold. Cloth, always pick up cloth because that's a decent little, that gives you a decent amount to sell. But yeah, as you can see, level 31. What I'm trying to get is this. This little astral rapier. I have to be level 45 for that, so you know. Knowing that treasure hunt missions are the fastest way to get experience believe me it is a blessing Just gonna... okay so yeah we do not even have to bother with this dude any more missions okay so yeah there is one more tre chest to dig up so Gonna just go ahead and throw this below deck. These things I gotta sell, but the chests we can throw below deck. Ooh, and not one of them is a common chest. Those. So that means we'll be getting a lot more gold from it. So, yeah, editor, we can just probably cut most of this. And you know what's funny? I've had this jacket for a while i've only like ju just yesterday realized that it was purple which is like the color of this channel so it, that that kind of worked out <laughs> like i've had this jacket for like a week or two and i've only just realized that it's the color purple yeah i'm like totally blind i guess so yeah, now then, next we go to Moonrise Cove, which is a decent place to go dungeon delving. We'll get into that one. And who knows, we might even find someone there who's dungeon delving. If so, I suppose we could, you know, play pirate, sink a ship or two. I mean, you don't really get anything for sinking ships or, you know, killing players, aside from whatever loot they had aboard their ship. So yeah, hopefully that'll be changed in the future, maybe adding some sort of combat reward system. So yes, onwards. Oh, it's backwards. 
best to angle our sails. So that they cut through the wind in this case. At least I think this is how this works. I don't know if it slows you down if they don't. If it's, you know, if they're not actually catching the wind, but yeah. Mm, I don't see anyone. Snapper might be someone you have to fear. Level 23. He's high enough of a level to take me on, but. I don't see any ships actually there. So, either someone's in there and they've just got their ship despawned, or there's, or we're alone on the island. Or maybe they're on the other side, not worrying about the dungeon, but... I don't think that's the case, as not many people... Snapper's really the only one. So, yeah, I don't think we'll have to worry too much about another person. But still, we'll keep the ship in range in case someone decides to come and pay us a visit. And of course, you know, always keep an eye out for just naturally spawning treasures. Another Cyclops. Like, Chasson's- oh! Hold up, hold up. I could actually sit in that, but I can't sit in the chair on my ship. I'm just gonna walk across the water here, no big deal. So yeah, there's sometimes a chest in there, and sometimes one right over here. And also, you know, don't forget to pick up, you know, bags of gold. So you can sell them to get gold, rather than just, you know, opening them for a random amount of gold. You can just sell them to a guy. It's like buying money with money. Huh? Whatever, like I said, work in progress. Oh yeah, we didn't even come here for those. I mean, th th that's just extra treasure, so yeah. Keep an eye out for that. Um... Alright, and... Must get to Blunderbuss! Spiders don't drop anything, but skeletons do, so yeah. And we can just ignore him. So yeah, let's get a treasure. Uh, look at that, we're right. Now we can go and throw this below deck. Which probably hide it inside the ship, you know, consider. Wait, where else is it? Okay, it's around the front as well. So, what we're gonna do now is raise the anchor. There it goes. And then we're just gonna sail around to the front of the island. Yeah, as you can see, we don't take damage when we hit anything, so yeah. Alright, so yeah, we're actually just gonna set a course inside. Now we'll make it easier on us trying to... That'll make the ship far more visible and, you know, make it harder for anyone to get aboard the ship undetected. Because right, I do not want to try and hide all my treasure, consolidate it, and then load it back on. Drift away. This just looks freaking amazing. It's not perfect. If we get hit while using the Warhammer, it does kind of, you know, glitch out a little bit, but, um... Yeah. It looks freaking awesome. Now, right now, I'm not really getting any common chests. When you Sky Star, you'll get common chests, but as your level goes up, you'll be able to find better chests. Right. Also, up there is, like, there should be, like, two chests up there. 
wish my friend were on. We'd be doing this together. It'd be so much faster, and I'd get so much more loot from it, you know? Oh. I didn't even know that chest was there. Okay, so that would mean that there's three chests. Three chests we gotta come up and grab. Alright, so we're just gonna hop down. There is fall damage, and yes, it can kill, so be careful of that. I have a lot of health, and I am being careful not to just jump right off on from there all the way to the bottom. I'm sort of, you know, surfing down the side or so, I guess you could call it. We haven't even touched that, area. and there's like two chests that can be found there. Plus the buried one, so that'll be three. And we'll be able to get like three chests and some gold from there, so yeah, that's pretty cool. This island is even more than I thought. Gonna run up right to the top. Pick that up. Perfectly evaded all their hits, right? <laughs> right. This would be better done with a crew, but you know, I don't have any friends. Well, I have one friend who I typically play on here with, but uh, she ain't on, so it's just me. It's always good to check, because, you know, there is a lot of PvP in this game, so it's always good to be careful. See if you can infer where people are using the uh, crew roster and... Uh, Yeah, as you can see, that took half my health, so be careful with fall damage. Come on, game. Don't crash on me. That's it. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. No, 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 I just summoned my ship accidentally. And left all my treasure... Oh, all my treasure is now floating in the freaking harbor because I summoned the wrong thing. Uh... And my cat's now wanting out. And now it's lagging. Like crap. I did not need the lag, guys. Okay. Let's just get this chest and get this over with. And my cat is freaking trying to get out now. Oh my gosh. I'm not dealing with you, man. You can just get off me. Like that, they drop more stuff. So. Okay, now to go and try and rescue all my cargo. This is gonna be annoying. Um, oh dear god, oh dear god, they're just still on me, okay. Oh my god, they will not get the frick off. Oh, now I clicked food on the first try. And he moved. No, no, no. You wanted to fight, you come over here and fight. You guys want to fight too? No, no. no, no. You die. Can't summon it closer. Yes. Teleport me to my ship. Okay, yeah, there's our stuff right over there.
Okay, yeah, there's the chest. Freaking scared me. Like, hold up, where's the chest? Where's the chest? Alright. Come on. Get in here. Huh, I wonder if I could actually use that animal crate to get things. So first, let's get the barnacle chest. Pick up the chest. Get it in there. Then we can set a course back home. And finally, get myself a ship. You know, a skin for my ship. Now, okay, everything's loaded. Now to just... Try and maneuver my way out of here. Ugh, this is gonna be... Difficult, because, you know, you got the ground right nearby. And... Hello, lizard. We're doing it. It's good. It's good, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. We'll buff out the scratches later, Cap. Okay, so yes, we did it. Now we can set a course for Castaway's Retreat. Just gonna get a look to see if there's any ships there. If there are, maybe I can steal another ruined chest. Yeah. Basically, just sell all the chests, except for legendary and, um, ruined chests. Because those are the ones you're going to want to own. Legendary chests are, well, the best chests in the game, and, you know, ruined chests give you weapons like, uh, this, the Ancient Warhammer. And, um... And other ancient weapons, because they're pretty good. Mm. Honestly, the hat choices in this game aren't good. That's one reason, you know, to not like this game. But, they add stuff, so they'll probably be adding more stuff. And who knows, maybe they'll be the first pirate game to add a hat like the one I have IRL. That one, you know, something like Barbosa has. You know, Captain Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean. If you are living under a rock. They can be the first game to add that, because, you know. And I... What is the point of this? I can't see a thing. How does the crow's nest work? You can't see through the sails. Well, here you can see through them, but, you know. Ugh, okay, so yeah, but, you know, this is the... Closest one I could find to it, but this looks kind of nothing like it. Mine is definitely much wider brim, has only one feather, and, you know, it's brown. But hey, the jacket fits. Ooh, that back collar right there, I do not like that. But whatever, whatever. It's fine. It's It fits the channel color, you know, purple. Okay, and here we are at port. Just gonna get... And of course, because the ship doesn't take damage, you can just go here, lower the sails, or raise the... park the ship. Now these things, we can just immediately go and sell, and we don't have to worry about anyone taking them. This place has spawn protection, so nothing can, no one can touch your stuff. They can't move your ship. They can't steal your chests or your cargo. So, yeah. Besides, I'm sure they're probably more interested in just exploring my uh, vessel than doing anything else. So, yeah, that's a little bit extra gold.
Yeah, as you can see, they aren't walking out with chests in their hands, so that's fine. Also, yeah, we can sell pretty much these things. We can sell this, the musket, these necklaces. And... Yeah. And that gave us about 13 grand. Now we can sell all the chests, which gets us, oh my gosh, 12 grand. Honestly, I'm not sure which one to get, the red or the blue. Could go for the Mad Serpent, but you know. The Helix of Gold looks good. I do want the Bandit King, so that, that's something I definitely want. Amethyst Cannons, uh, the Silver Cannons, yeah, they're cool looking, but oh, they're flat. I don't like that. The Amethyst Cannons don't seem right to me, you know, why would you want cannon made out of crystal? You want it made out of metal, because, you know, it heats up, it'll flex and stuff, instead of just shattering like an amethyst cannon. It'd be like a glass cannon, a literal glass cannon. Eh, everyone goes for the helix of gold, I might get the mad serpent. For now... Let's just see... Dude, better not be wasting all my... I hope that guy didn't use all my ammo, but I don't think he did because I still have like 145 shots. Yeah, I like these better. <laughs> I'll be honest, I, I like these cannon way better than the standard issue. Uh, a tummy, don't know you. Didn't even realize caps lock was on. Hello. So yeah, um, this this ship is yeah this game it's a lot of fun. I've been sucked into it. Currently a work in progress. They'll fix all the problems with it eventually. For now, even now, it's a really fun game game to play and if they do add something that does make the game unable to be played they'll fix it like within the next day so don't worry about that am i rocking the ship am i leaning the ship forward i uh, i think it was just doing that on its own so yeah it was okay so anyway yeah that's this game hope you guys have enjoyed this video hope you guys will check out this game because well, it does get a decent amount of people playing it. It deserves way more people, way more players, and I could use a crew. Okay. So, yeah. Hope you guys will pick it up. Hope you guys have enjoyed, and yeah. It's basically everything. So, yeah. If you have enjoyed, be sure to like the video. Um, hit subscribe. Leave a comment if you want to see more of anything. Like, you know, more of this game, I could probably do some stuff like you know, fighting and PvP, playing pirate a bit, that might be an interesting video. But yeah, be sure to leave a comment and hit subscribe, because that definitely helps the channel out. And with that, my friends, sayonara.